today is the 6th of march uh, 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys a uh, president emerson mnangagwa could force uh, the national social security authority nasa to reverse a 400 000 us dollar house purchase deal in queenington borodo arari involving public service minister paul mavima nasa acting general manager charles shawa was summoned to Mnangagwa and Vice President Joenga's offices last week, Monday, to explain what was happening. Shawa was asked to write a report on the purchase of the house, which NASA eventually sold to Mavima. That was before he was arrested last, uh, later in the week on Thursday on allegations of fraud. The news works was told by anonymous source in the office of the President and Cabinet that Shawa could be forced to reverse the deal. The source was quoted as saying, the issue is now being handled by Chief Secretary in the Office of the President and Cabinet, Michel Sibanda. There is mounting pressure for urgent action to be taken. Shawa might be brought to book or forced to reverse the deal, which is likely. These events were before Shawa was arrested on allegations of fraud involving 12.2 million US dollar. His arrest for allegedly giving doctor allowances without board approval was seen as a fightback by the minister. Shaw was picked up by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission Zek, a day before a disciplinary hearing for NASA Director Brian Murerwa. Murerwa, NASA's suspended director for investments and properties, helped Mavima in his Broadway house deal. He was the one who facilitated everything on that. Through his legal advisors, Shaw has described the allegations as baseless and unfounded. However, his accusers say he is to clear his name before the courts if he is innocent as he pleads. So guys, the Borodo House saga is alleged that NASA brought Borodo House secretly on behalf of Mavima. Due process and board approvals to buy the Quinnington House stand number 218 Lot A1 were not followed. The property was valued at $350,000 US dollar, but $400,000 US dollar was paid by NASA creating room for 50,000 US dollar to go into private pockets. The transaction was executed on October 3, 2022. The house was not transferred to NASA books before it was sold to Mavima. The house was registered under a special purpose vehicle, Aglo Investment Private Limited, and the deeds were under CABS Custodial Services, not CBZ Custodial Services, who are the custodians of NASA assets brought through asset management firms. Minister Mavima allegedly initiated the deal as he identified the property which belonged to one ceremony and asked NASA to buy and keep it for him while he waited the disbursement of his 500,000 US dollar housing allowance given to each cabinet minister by the government. The issue came to light when Shawa directed NASA Deputy Director Audit Andrew Nyakonda on 16 February to conduct an investigation into the disposal of the Borodo house and the purchase of Kariba Lodge stand number 989 Kariba Township for 244,000 US dollar. So here's the Kariba commercial property. The commercial property was brought for 215,000 US dollar after negotiations but 244,000 US dollar was paid. When other costs were added, the price went up to 252,000 dollars 631 dollars 59 cents nasa usually pays around figures like 300,000 dollars was paid the balance was purportedly directed to its investment account held at the asset management firm which facilitated the deal when the deals were reported in the media but it was skipped the border into south africa so guys that's the latest here should come nasa i mean for you yes yeah, so uh minister um, mavima the man was supposed to wait for his money, which is five hundred thousand US dollar. and I think that was earlier this year that my ministers are five hundred thousand US dollar from uh, the government. Yes, he directed NASA to buy the house on behalf of him. Then also go but NASA Maria Obek and again NASA cho waka bwa tenga imbe ne four hundred thousand US dollar. And the initial price was at 350,000 US dollar. So, I got a, 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 I got
Mujo mi gudu niyadze corruption iniyadze chukupera. And this is the institution which is supposed to be taking care of our grandmothers and grandfathers. Banyadze pension. But do warumi wa kudu niyakadze wa kutambisa mari. Wachi spina spina mari. Wachi sama jira wa nunga wachita. This is so shameful man. This is so bad. It's really bad. I mean for real. It, this is really bad. So when the government talks about fighting corruption. I don't think they are fighting corruption. I think they are just covering up corruption. You know because of many reasons. And uh, this is so so bad. Let it all in the comment section. Uh, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Remember, uh, this gentleman, um, Shava, is uh, Charles Shava, was arrested last week and he was given 500,000 RTGS bail. And this guy is being accused of pocketing 12.2 million US dollar from NASA. 12.2 million US dollar from NASA. In my Gawanda, in my Totin Kwansa, Kutu Batra, Shakawanda, and the Pat, in my Totin Mumun, one, the Arguns, and I guess I'm home. Besides that, I mean, for me, as a carrier, but who accused of a carrier, my millions of a cutter from NASA is a Shindisa, a crew, a second NASA, who South Africa for ye um, daughter's wedding, and the Imaris and NASA is a name go spend was spend was now a gamble. I mean, this is so sad, man. It's really sad. And these people are the people who are supposed to be civil servants working for us as the people. But no one will say, my pockets. Saga, Paka Ipa. Yes. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Principal Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. We'll be back here with more information. Bless up.